and get involved again. He's out against and here we go, Louis DeBrus and Sandy, Sandy McCarthy. McCarthy, and they're just going to let him go. It's Randy Mitten is one of the linesmen, along with Baron Parker, and it's Dan Marawelli tells him to stand back. And why not? Let him get it over with. The Battle of Alberta continuing early in this one. McCarthy, Louis yeah. DeBrus has his head in McCarthy's chest, trying and to protect himself. McCarthy's hitting more DeBrusque's back than anything else. They're in pretty tight quarters. DeBrusque uppercut. trying to, he's lost his helmet, trying to get that sweater off. The uppercut, the right from Sandy McCarthy. As DeBrusque got a bit of the left hand loose. Two tough customers. We've played seven minutes of this first period at the Edmonton Coliseum, and finally Mitten and Parker step between the two. We're scoreless, the Flames and the Oilers. Back around back of the net. Louis DeBrusque and Sandy McCarthy. Once wasn't enough, so they'll do it one more time. As the play's going down the other end, Fleury had beaten Ranford on a backhand, who obviously had let up in a game, just like the last time that boxing stance. <laughs> DeBrusque got a good hold of the sweater that time. And now we switched hands. Rocky Balboa went to the southpaw stance for a while. The right hand from McCarthy didn't land as the brusk ducked out of the way. Now in tight quarters, can't see much happening as McCarthy, oh. well, this time after he there. ripped off the helmet. There's the helmet off. The uh, head doogies are happening now. Dan Marwelli waves at Trevor Kidd to get him out of the line of fire in case the boat slides into the crease. Sandy McCarthy is getting those left hands in the back of Louis DeBrus' head. Louis doesn't have that helmet on anymore. And McCarthy's going for the takedown. And finally, Mitten and Parker with that as a signal step in to break up the two. We're scoreless, or 1-0 Edmonton, rather, 4-19 to go in the first.